Broadcasting live from the Business Radio X studios in Atlanta, Georgia, it's time for Coach the Coach Radio. Brought to you by the Business Radio X Ambassador Program. The no-cost business development strategy for coaches who want to spend more time serving local business clients and less time selling them. Go to brxambassador.com to learn more. Now, here's your host. Lee Cantor here, another episode of Coach the Coach Radio, and this is going to be a good one. Today we have with us Lori Dobrin with Arrange Moi. Welcome, Lori. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you, Lee. Well, I'm excited to learn what you're up to. Tell us a little bit about life as a lifestyle consultant. How are you serving folks? Um, well, you know, I had a, everybody's asking me what, what's a lifestyle really? Like, what does that mean? Right? So it's, it's funny because it's such an easy way to figure it out. And for some reason, no one does. I don't know why. So lifestyle is everything that we do, what we think, what we project, what we accomplish, the way we really live our lives, personal and, um, and our career. So All this is part of our lifestyle. Everything we do, it's a part of our lifestyle. So what I do, I coach clients on how to elevate their lifestyle to a next level, how to tweak and turn and upgrade and learn more every day so that lifestyle can gradually go higher and higher and higher to be more successful in whatever they desire, right? And... um, uh, especially you have to be very happy with who you are. And this is a big accent that I put on on mindset. And then you also have to set yourself apart from other people in the same industry, in the same genre, in the same uh, circle. And it's, it's just, you know, people gravitate towards their own kind. And um, to able to be able to transact to other circles or other jobs or other um, successful echelons you need to step out of that comfort zone and you need to become better in a lot of areas of your life so now what what so what specifically is the problem that your clients are having before they say i gotta call Lori? are they frustrated are they seeing other people pass them up like what is the pain that they're having where they say you know what i gotta call Lori and her team because um i gotta make some adjustments here Right. You know, it's a very good question. Uh, People get frustrated um, and, you know, you can eliminate the frustrations when you recognize that you actually have problems. A lot of uh, human beings don't recognize that they have a problem until they it's really obvious and it hits them in the face. And uh, it happens to all of us. Right. We're not nobody's better than the other. But um, what um, what I see a lot is. When it becomes the pain, as you say it, when they get passed for the promotions, when nobody pays attention to them, when they have so much to offer and nobody cares, when they're not recognized for the talent that they are. Um, And this happens again in professional and personal level when they want to date a certain person, when they want to love a person, when they want to be noticed in the right light when they want to be appreciated, when they want to be valued. So this is when they call me, when none of this happened, when they're not successful to accomplish what they like, and when they recognize, okay, you know what, maybe I, I am missing something, that's when they actually call me, when they recognize they're missing something. Now, some of your work is, in a, is around their image, right? Correct. So now, how do you, do you kind of look at them and, and ask them, hey, how do you see your image? And then you make some changes or um, how do you kind of work with something that's, it feels like it's very subjective? Um, well, this was set to a part of other coaches because I'm brutally honest, <laughs> brutally honest. So that's why I don't, you know, I, um. I choose who I work with I'm not, I, not everybody can work with me and I cannot work with everybody. And you know that because, you know, everybody is pretty much the same in a coaching business if they stay truthful to who they are. But um, 
when it comes to image, you see somebody right away. You know, image is one thing that you cannot hide. You can, I mean, unless you're behind the screen with the camera off and you talk and you talk and you talk, um, then, um, and nobody sees you, then uh, yes, that they will never know what your image is like. But when you're around people and you're in a society, then um, everybody perceives you in a very different way because of the image factor. So what I stress about a lot of time is the way you present yourself, the way you show up is going to make people think A, B, C, D about you. The way you show up is going to dictate them how they're going to perceive you. So I work with my clients of the way you show up. It's very important. Although I have a lot of arguments on the opposite side saying, but you know, it's not important what they wear. It's not important how they wear. It's not, it's very important. Unfortunately, we live in a society that is going to judge you of how you look. And I'm not just talking about the designers that you wear. That's not at all what I'm talking about is the way you present yourself from the way, um, from your hygiene, from the way you walk, from the way you sit, from the way you talk, from the tone of the voice, from um, how hunched your back is. All those things are um, very good pointers of someone confidence or insecurity, from someone levels of education or not, for someone um, knowing exactly who they are, and um, they know what they stand for and for the level of respect that they have towards themselves and towards the other around them. So image is a very powerful thing. Uh, the way you dress, the way you um, do your hair, the way you uh, keep your, um, your nails, your, I mean, your skin, everything tells, you, tells everybody else they can perceive you um, how who you are you know and that comes to the level of respect that you have for yourself and the love that you have for yourself you know often we see a lot of people that they don't care so you know these people truly don't care about themselves they don't really care about how they dress what they eat how they sleep um who do they even have around them they just don't care they think anything goes Eh, it's okay. It's not okay. You will never be able to be as successful as you can be if you don't pay attention to those um, elements in your life. Now, your clients range from uh, celebrities to executives to people in the media. Mm -hmm. um, does that image matter the same? For, is that kind of universal? It doesn't matter whether you're a celebrity or a dentist. Both It matters. It matters. As long as you have an audience, as long as your life revolves around people, as long as you want to be successful, admire of what are you doing, then image matters. Correct. But Unfortunately, because, you know, we want to think that, oh, it, this is a shallow thing of, uh, to do and, uh, and it's very... Um, um, it's not depth in depth enough and it's not deep enough. Well, you know, by the time you start talking to someone, that person already perceives you in a certain way and they decide if they want to talk to you or they not, don't want to talk to you, right? If they want to even know who you are because of the perception that you give them to begin with, right? Yeah. Now, when you're working with someone, can you take somebody like from a blank page that doesn't really have much of an image and then transform them into some super confident, you know, person that's worthy of being on the cover of a magazine. I love blank pages. I have to say blank pages are fantastic because it really, um, it really makes everybody sees the progress and it makes everybody feel good. And I love those blank pages because they are the ones who they truly work the most of themselves. They understand, it's like, they, they really know, I, this is who I am and this is who I wanna be, how do I get there? So that's my job to get them there, although they have to work a lot because a lot of this process, it's mindset. First of all is understanding what you need, 
understanding that you're lacking certain things. Then the second step is accepting that. And the third step is willing to do it, to work on it. So it's very important to understand where you are. And the blank pages, I have to tell you, are the most successful one because they're the one who said, you know what, I'm naked. What do I put on? Versus, but I like this, but I want to do this, but I want to do that. And I don't, I, I don't believe in this and I don't believe in that. Those are different projects, but the blank pages are always the best, I think. Now, in order to really leverage your skills, is this something that I have to have lots and lots of money? I have to get a higher uh, makeup and wardrobe and a whole team around me in order to achieve this? Or is this something that can be done on different budgets? Um, you do not need to have an army around you <laughs> at all. Um, actually, I found that people that have an army around them, they have no clue what they want, what they feel, what they think. They don't, they don't even know because all this army, it's giving them direction every step of the way. Do this, wear this, sit like this, do that. So they're never able to process any information. So no, not at all. I do not encourage an army of people. And it is for all budgets. As a matter of fact, I used to be exclusive in a luxury segment. And after this COVID happened, um, I realized that, uh, you know, this luxury segment, I don't know what's going to happen with the luxury segment. Everybody was so depressed and uh, so kind of um, in a different dimension. And I took it down a notch and I am constructing um, um, not so much personalized, more of a group coaching for uh, different budgets that you can take a group coaching that is specific on certain um, aspects. And if anybody recognizes like, okay, I need to know how to drink wine properly or how to sit at the dinner properly or how to eat properly or how to buy shoes properly or certain aspects of anybody's uh, need that I created, I'm creating um, those courses that anybody can access on for a very little money. Of course, they won't do, they won't have me for one-on-one, -on -one, but I still provide all this um, information to them. And in certain particular um, group coaching and programs, I meet with them once a week, once every two weeks, once a month, depending on the program that I do a Q and A and that they can um, have access to me and to the information directly from me. So yes, it's for everybody. Now, when you're working with a client, um, at the heart of it, you're working within their authentic, authentic self, right? Cause you can't, you don't right. want them to pretend to be a no, Kardashian if they're not a Kardashian, right? No, no. And as a matter of fact, I encourage people not to be Kardashians. I, I encourage people to be whoever they want to be within their own self, not something that they put on a poster on a wall and it's like, this is who I want to be. That, per, that picture on the wall might have absolutely nothing to do with who they really are. So um, I keep it extremely real. Yes, I did say that in the beginning. I'm brutally honest. So I know I can see through someone super fast who they're supposed to be, what the potential um, is, and what do they need to work on. And um, they, can, they can lie to themselves if they want to, but they cannot lie to me. So it's a choice. But it sounds like in your strategy, it's gonna, they're going to be able to kind of live into this a lot better because it's true. It's based on truth as opposed to a lot of folks out there that are like, okay, wait, take a picture of me in front of that private jet or in no. front of this fancy car, and now I'm this person, and it's all pretend. It no. sounds like you're getting to really the heart of who they really are. Yes, and um, and it gets pretty emotional in one point, you know, because we are so conditioned in this society to sugarcoat everything, right? Who know that, I know that, everybody knows that. And uh, I do not sugarcoat anything. I'm not just going to tell somebody, oh, my God, you look great. You're amazing. You're beautiful. If I think the otherwise, I will not do it. And I don't think I think we're just 
have so many masks on, which is crazy because now we actually require to wear the mask, but we are wearing those masks for a very long time. And um, I see through them and I tell them exactly what I think. It's like the moment you want to change something, the moment you want to improve, the moment you want to become better in whatever area you want, those masks will come off instantly. And it gets pretty emotional and sometimes um, a little rocky because they're not ready for that. Even if they say, yes, I'm ready, hit me. When you hit them, they're still not ready for it. So it gets a little, it gets a little uh, sensitive. But in the end, um, they're thanking me because nobody is able to do it in such a way, in a constructive way. I'm not in a business to hurt anybody's feelings. I'm in a business to wake people up and understand what has not been working for them so far and what they need to change. Now, could you share a story? Don't name names, of course, but where somebody maybe had been struggling and they were able to work with you and you were able to take them to a new level? Um, well, I worked with a lot of artists, so um, yes, it, it, even if somebody has a lot of uh, a lot of money, a lot of fans, uh, they still feel very insecure in certain settings. So yes, I did work with um, multiple one of them in particular I, I mean it, it just comes into my mind right now um, because we actually had to travel together and this was a very complex experience um, the society was a very different one the circle of people were very different than what he was used to and we had to enter those circles because of the wealth but the wealth had nothing to do with the preparation for the image that had to sustain the wealth, if you understand what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. If it's the clear, I'm not sure. Um, and if it's not, please ask me, stop me and ask me. <laughs> I'll go deeper. Uh, but so we had to match the wealth with the presence and with the etiquette and with the way um, you show up because okay you got the validation that you can be there now you have to match that with actually how you're going to show up how who you're going to be right because it, it has to be congruent right like you if you say one thing it has to match the way that you're behaving you can't just Correct. say it and then behave differently because then all of a sudden now people are suspect uh, not even they're suspect they're just dismiss you mm -hmm. in five minutes there it's just not Suspect is like, hmm, let me see, let me see what this is about. But if you don't have a solid core and if you truly don't understand where you're going, what you're doing, and really make it your own, in one point you're going to show up your true colors and that's it. And that's it. So it's not about how much money you have, is how much of respect can you get in this circle the society the the momentum without even knowing how much money you have in your bank account right like people don't really they know who you are already so they're accepting you but then you really have to stand up on your own two feet and ground yourself into that particular movement otherwise you're going to be okay fine nice to meet you but then you're going to be expelled mm -hmm. it's very simple Right, and and you don't get a lot of second chances, right? You know, you don't really get second chances. Um, that's why it's so important, and I'm stressing so much about becoming, um, being very authentic to yourself and upgrading yourself to, for the next level, to the next level. It's a ladder, you know? You don't get from the first floor to the fifth floor flying. You have to take step by step, and... And we all know that in everything that we do, we have to take a step-by-step -step moment. You can't just get there because if you get there, the chances are you're going to fall on your face and so, hurt yourself. Right. Now, if there's someone out there that wants to learn more about your program and get a hold of you or somebody on your team and they're interested in upgrading themselves to a better version of themselves, what is the best way to get a hold of you or 
or someone on um, your team? I'm pretty accessible pretty much on, on all the media. Uh, LinkedIn, I am on Lori Dobrin, and I'm, I also have a page under Arrange Moi. And um, anybody can message me. I have, it's either me responding or somebody in my team, but the message gets to me no matter what. Um, also, they can email me at lori at arrangemoi.com, which is spelled A-R-R, -R, like arrange, American, and moi, M-O-I, in the end, dot com. They can always reach me there. Um, I do have a media account on Instagram, but I, that's not really for contacting me. That's more for, you know, the, 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 the Instagram era. <laughs> <laughs> that's the okay that's what she does <laughs> so the best way to contact me is really through linkedin or through my email and um i will i will always respond plus um i do have a couple of courses on uh, mastermind.com mm -hmm. and uh, they just need to type in Lori dobrin and uh, it will take them to the courses uh, this is for now. Um, that might be changing in a minute because I'm working on a different platform and I might move everything to a different platform, which would be hosted on my own hosting. Mm -hmm. So we're doing some changes. Our website is changing right now. Um, so there's there's a couple of technical changes around. But uh, yes, email is always great. And um, LinkedIn, it's always great. Well, Lori, thank you so much for sharing your story today. You're doing important work and we appreciate you. Thank you so much for uh, giving me the opportunity to uh, give you all this information. I think uh, it's a great thing. And thank you for choosing me to be a part of your show. Well, thank you again for sharing your story. Thanks. Thank you, Lee. All right. This is Lee Cantor. We'll see you all next time on Coach the Coach Radio. Yeah.